unicorn horn and wings and it's on a branch I'm using red colour first I'm going to make it very colourful I'm going to start off painting on the horn I'm using acrylic um, paint My previous video I have shown my different types of artworks. You can check that out. You can see my different styles and what type of art I enjoy making. I'm going to use orange now. I'm going to make the unicorn horn like a orange, like a rainbow. If you're new here, subscribe my channel, like and give me comments when my video has been uploaded. I'm going to use yellow now. This is my first time drawing a weasel and with my own imagination onto it, like adding a unicorn horn and wings. Because I like my art to be different. I always get inspired by different art and even animals in general. Then I obviously enjoy adding fantasy to it. I'm going to use green. check my social medias I upload my artworks there too like Instagram Twitter TikTok that I've recently made and it's going pretty well
I enjoy taking time whilst I do my art, as I don't like rushing. As when you take time, it will look way more better. I'm going to use blue. Squeeze out. There we go. Using this acrylic blue. It even has the names of the types of colour it is. This one's magenta. This one's ma maroon. And this one is Pathelo blue. Not sharp if I'm saying it right. This one is amethyst, type of purple, and I'll be using metallic gold. Stop blue. Next I'll use this purple. I love drawing since I was very small and I got inspired by my mum because she's an artist herself and I've watched her many times drawing and painting too. 
I once even watched her draw a whole drawing for five hours. That's how inspired I am. And ever since I just love doing all myself. Art is everywhere anyway. Everything's made by art in different materials and different people. And everyone has their own style. To figure your own style, you have to just be you. It doesn't have to be perfect. No one is perfect, really. Just put your emotions and feelings and your thoughts down on paper or canvas and let your imagination guide you to whatever you want to draw or paint. And that is art. Imagination is the biggest thing for art because it's from your own mind. I always have ideas. It never stops really growing. I love writing down my ideas so that I can get onto them. Especially I'm often a bit forget forgetful so I prefer writing down my ideas so I don't forget. I'm not, I'm not only enjoying drawing and painting, I also enjoy writing, reading. Today is very bright and sunny outside that I'm happy with. I love painting and drawing when it's very nice outside, especially I can view the outside from my desk. I often enjoy just looking at the clouds and I love seeing pictures in the clouds too.
I love writing poetry and stories and songs. Um, coming up next. I possibly might um, read anytime poems whilst I do not. If one of you are interested to listen to my poetry. There, the horn is done. I just need to leave that to dry. I possibly might have to go over a second layer because I still see my pencil through it. Um, I might do the wings next. I'm going to use white. I think I actually have my one of my books with me. Oops. And I have some of my poetries in it. My little notebook with me here. Yep. I could read some out now whilst painting. Like this poetry I've written in 2019. The sea grows with waves, toppling over rocks as the light reflects on the sea with its blossoming colours. The blue sky fills every shape of clouds to show the weather of the natural earth. Waterfalls shimmers like pearls flowing down the cheeks of the cliffs, suggesting it by crying tons of emotions. The sparkling sunlight flows down onto the beautiful landscapes of nature coming alive. The view of the trees with vibrant greens protecting its natural colour is everywhere. That's one of my poetry I've written. Um, my other poetry I wrote in 2019. As the sun goes down, when the sky paints the night sky with glittery stars that shines in all of our hearts, the way of the endless sky moves my heart, moves with the stars, with all the faraway planets that's out there. My soul circles around with nature, forming their beautiful hearts to keep living. 
why it's not really showing so bright. So I might just make the wings maybe blue instead. Ripples of water that moves so swiftly and graceful. Beautiful blue waves moves with the mountains to give hugs of nature. The fishes swim in between the oceans of the mountains to create colourful currents of glitter and pearls of their treasured souls. The tree-like corals of patterned fingers strokes the fish's skin with the kindness and cares for the fish's souls. The oceans moves with the streams of the rivers with gleaming rainbow glitter waters of, art, of artwork. I enjoy writing a lot about nature and water and ocean and stars. My other poetry I've written in 2020 sounds like this. The way of how far the stars shine is like paint being left drying. The movements of planets are like mirrors circling to meet new destinations. Through the sun of fire heats its soul of anger to protect most planets. The moon of white clouds, so bright like a torch, walking through the dark valley. The footprints of tiny patterned of rain paws from a water kitten. It's a bit bizarre, but <laughs> I love being very descriptive. Um, my other poetry I've written in 2020 to the journey of dancing footprints with the small shining lights circling to the melodies of the harps of the skies butterflies shimmers fairy dust through the summer heat through the flowers growing their colors so bright like rainbows My next um, poetry in the thick black ceiling of white small dots above like stars with all the bright light fireballs of stars glittering in the dark painted space through and in the deep black shadow there are vibrant galaxies forming with stars holding on to the arms of the stars protect us in the dark night of space there's a black tall being standing across the sands of the rainbow dust flowing like panes of glitter. It has a hidden camouflage of its body with the light of the stars. The black tall being shows its galaxy colours of art all over it glows like diamonds. With that poetry I kind of described my own imaginary alien that is tall and it shows its galaxy colours of art and it glows like diamonds. Here's a different poem, or oh, more like a thought or whatever you call it. 
lead your path with grace and hope. Let your inner self carry on even with doubts. As you pick yourself up, never give up. Always try, try again until you're happy. Don't let others put you down. Sometimes you need to listen to yourself more than others. Remember to give it all your best, whatever you do, for only good purposes because good is the most beautiful treasure to feel. The light will defeat out the bad. You just need to push out the bad thoughts and let your thoughts and feelings lead you to the wonderful achievements. That one I've pretty much wrote about my own feelings. And it could relate to anyone of you if you feel like it relates. My favourite colour is blue. I enjoy using blue a lot. And purple is my second favourite colour. And red is my third favourite colour. But I enjoy using all types of colours. Because in nature there's so much colour. My favourite flower are orchids. I just love the scent and how elegant they look. My favourite ones are the purple ones. I love roses, water lilies. Jasmine, tulips, and different, oh and um, foxgloves, I love those flowers too, I love how they're all connected and with their freckled patterns. My favourite insect, I'd say, is a butterfly. And I find dragonflies really cool too. Some of my favourite birds, I'd say, is a peacock. I find them very majestic and colourful and I love hummingbirds because how beautiful and cute they are and how fast they can fly. I find it cool how they can hover. Ocean animals, dolphins. Dolphins are my favourite animal. I love how they are clever, play. And I love their personality. And I love how they swim freely and how they jump out of the water. Makes you feel really happy. I find animals very beautiful and clever and really important to our world because they live with us, they live. As us. nature where the animal is supposed to 
live in those areas, like their habitat, like forests, the ocean. I love fennec foxes. They're very cute and small, and I love their big ears. I've been to a couple of aquariums before. I love going to Blue Planet Aquarium. I love seeing the animals swimming there, but of course, they won't necessarily be always be happy in there, because if there's not enough space, they can obviously cause abnormal behaviours. Which really isn't it's really concerning but if they get treated well and that they have enough space then I assume they could be happy I hope everything I'm talking about is of interest to you and what you like and what you know. I have a passion about space and stuff, planets and I believe there's aliens out there. Like I'm very proud of my water alien painting that I did is in one of my sketchbook that I've recently showed in my art tour in my recent video that you might want to check out from watching if you haven't seen it already. I also do digital art in my spare time. I do digital art on my phone. I don't really have any tablet or iPad or a stylus pen to do my digital art, I just use my finger as I'm used to it. It was a struggle at first to use my finger only on my phone to do digital art but I find it quite easy now. Make sure you love what you do, have the passion for it, make time for it, and of course enjoy doing it because, because you have to enjoy what you do, you have to feel happy what you do. Happiness is very important, in my opinion.
especially love what you do as well. Love is important. of all types of music for me when I listen to music I always listen the lyrics first as I find the lyrics most important first then I listen to the music second as I prefer meaningful lyrics which sends any sort of message across that makes you feel it more deeper and especially I tend to always cry for how deep a song is whatever song I listen to I also enjoy just plain instrumental music like electronic, dubstep, trance, EDM. I also love old music like the 80s and 90s, 70s. <laughs> I love Michael Jackson, I love his music, and I also love Phil Collins, I enjoy David, Bo David Bowie. I love a lot of rock and metal. I love indie music. I love some old pop. I love um, old school rap. And I like some um, 80s hip hop. But I'm not really so interested in the mainstream rap, it's not really my taste as I'm not interested in the lyrics really, just find it completely, completely nonsense. I hope you like my blue wing so far when it's dry I'll definitely add some white or gold highlights to make it pop I love doing extra details whenever it's all dry and has the first layer done as I don't want to get it ruined so it's better to always let it dry first 
when adding the last details. So I'm just trying to cover all the pencil lines as best as I can. I hope my art inspires any of you, if you enjoy doing art. I've written this poem in 2021, it's about sky and owls, goes like sky went black then through it goes hello while it ends up being far in the distance from the window the street lights are on. Hearing car drive through by the road, and as owls tend to tweet, toot, calling towards the night. It's a short poem. Um, I did a poem about a tree. Trunks deep into earth as it grows tall. It becomes high above towards the sky. Its branches reaches different directions as it hugs the air to breathe from oxygen and sunlight to help its growth and strength. Um, I might do the crescent moon gold. Just need to move these out the way. Always follow your heart and instincts. Don't let your thoughts overpower you with doubts. Be patient and achieve what you want. That's one of my writing I wrote. I wouldn't say it's like a poem, really. Um. Here's another poem I written in 2021. On September 30th I wrote this. Um, look far back behind the door through darkness of a keyhole. Don't fall through or forget, but go up and don't slip to the ends, of which time goes fast. Keep looking ahead, stare in the air, breathe the wind with Lifting lungs that pulls energy all around. 
bring yourself towards your goals. Don't let yourself pull you deep of a pit. Keep trying. Don't lose what you got. Never feel ungrateful. Put yourself together and achieve what you will do and remember you can. It's important if you tell yourself you can because then you will be able to do it. Because if you can't, you won't go anywhere. If that makes sense. Um, here's my other poem. Eyes deep that can drain out an ocean, shining like a glass window as it glows. Tears fall and become a gem. The gem becomes ice crystal. A cheek becomes warm like sunshine, while the cheek is dried as a desert. Hair is dark and smooth, while the hand can feel through the tender of the soul of love. The beating of a heart is the sound of love and of being alive. That one I've done quite a deep emotional love poem, sort of way. Oops. Um... I've wrote here a description. Your blue eyes I get lost in. Your ocean that brings life of love and kindness. Your warmth of hugs being will bring me peace and satisfaction. Your voice brings the joy of my smile. For your eyes to meet mine, the beating of your heart excites me of your good heart that lifts my soul with happiness. Your touches and kisses are the petals of the fragrance of who you are because you are special to me. That was written this year in February. Um, my other poem I've wrote on the 26th of January this year, tender in arms way to be held, warmth from a heart and a sound of touch, the beating of heart organ begins to pump from the heart, from the heat, lips bring closure to be loved and souls to connect inner power into another as for being caring. Yeah, and that's most of my poems I've written. Need some more gold. I'm a big fan of David Attenborough and his animal documentaries. He always explains 
the animals very clearly and easy to understand. I have two books of David Attenborough as well. I love watching movies and even anime. I enjoy Marvel Marvel movies too. I like superhero movies. Oh gosh. <laughs> I lost a bit of balance there. My favourite Marvel movie, I'd say, is Aquaman. I just love how they made the underwater city and the creatures. And the story itself is really cool. And the graphics too, if you call that, or the way how they animated it. My other favourite movie is Avatar. And there's a new Avatar movie out now I think. Or is coming out and they made an underwater avatar well the avatar movie is based underwater I think and I always hoped that they would create a second part of the avatar And make it underwater based or an underwater theme movie or something. And I did. As I really would love to watch that Avatar movie. favourite movie categories I'd say is fantasy, science fiction, I watch some horror movies but not all horror movies but I prefer fantasy way better than horror. I love Lord of the Rings and I love Harry Potter. My favourite anime movie, like recent that I've last watched, I'd say is Bubbles. It's really awesome. It's on Netflix. If you're interested in anime, I suggest you watch Bubbles on Netflix. I find it really beautiful and colourful. And the characters are amazing too. And the storyline is really beautiful. I love Japanese music, Korean music, 
of Karina Pop. The first Korean pop group I enjoyed listening first or encountered first is BTS. And then I've grown to listening to other BTS groups and female groups too. I love Japanese alternative and metal rock. My favourite Japanese band is Dayora. My favourite song from Dayora is Lily. I just find the song so beautiful and how the electric guitar sounds so beautiful with Yoka as the lead singer from Dayora. His voice really pleasant to listen to. My favorite female singer is I enjoy listening to is Aurora Agnes. She's from Norway. I enjoy her songs a lot. She inspires me. She loves um, nature and animals and she cares about nature and animals that you have to treat them kindly and you have to respect the planet. It's quite a cool pattern with the gold. I start on the lips. I did a human lip for my lean, so it looks unique, different. I think it's coming along quite great so far. I think I'll leave it to that as I want to let it dry and I hope you all, whoever watched, if any one of you have been watching whilst I was live, hope you enjoyed and this hope you enjoyed listening to me talk, my second attempt of talking. I think I did quite really good for my second time now.
I'll eventually get used to it. Talking. Um, I hope you subscribe, like my video, and leave a comment what you think of my painting and if you just enjoyed listening to me talk in general. And see you next time.